students uh, good morning uh, today we are going to see about uh, dns scavenging so uh, what is dns scavenging uh, basically uh, dns scavenging is nothing but uh, uh, you know when uh, client computer connects to the network okay it dynamically registers his host name with ip address okay and that record is updated as a record and uh, updated in the dns uh, forward lookup zone okay so let's say computer uh, you know disconnects uh, improperly okay then uh, that particular record okay might not be uh, removed like this client one record okay it got added but the client is uh, you know no longer available okay uh, but it's out of the network but the record is left over okay so these are stale records okay so uh, what happens is that as uh, time grows uh, these records get populated and uh, there will be no free ips available okay because all the uh, all the dhcp things that the you know the client has already taken the ip and it doesn't release the ip because the record is already updated so uh, to avoid these kind of situations uh, there is a feature or mechanism called as dns scavenging okay so uh, today we will see how to enable uh, the scavenging on the dns server to do that click on start all programs administrative tools go to uh, dns manager now right click on the dns server and cl click on properties go to advanced and here you can see enable automatic scavenging for stale records so a stale record is the record where the client hasn't connected back to the server within 7 days okay and that record is going to be removed from the dns so you should enable this option click apply and this will automatically initiate the scavenging so let's say you have a issue where uh, you know the uh, client is getting incorrect uh, dns entries or incorrect uh, ip uh, when he tries to ping the host name okay that time it could be that the old record is not removed okay so do so uh, sometimes uh, you might be requ requested to run the scavenging immediately okay so at that time uh, you have to manually run the dns scavenging to do that uh, again right click on the server and uh, you can click a uh, task scavenge uh, stale uh, record, resource records click on it and it will ask you for option do you want to scavenge all the stale resource records on the server click yes and it will initiate the scavenging uh, task it will take some time uh, for this task to complete uh, once it's completed uh, you can see that the new uh, refresh will happen one more option uh, about dns scavenging is that uh, you have to set the uh, stale uh, aging period or the scavenging period okay to do that right click on the dns server and select set aging and scavenging for all zones so here you have to select this option scavenge stale resource records okay you can specify the no refresh interval it means that uh, dns server will not check whether the server is up or down for seven days okay so uh, refresh interval it will try to refresh again after seven days if the server is not there then it will mark as a stale record stale record so that it will be removed during the dns scavenging and click ok so you can see options scavenging stale resource apply this early entire active rate integration so you should always select this option so 
now this will enable the scavenge uh, one thing to uh, keep in mind is that okay if the timestamp uh, you see a column here right in the right hand side timestamp if this is saying static like this then scavenging will not happen on this uh, uh, on this record okay because it's a static entry only the dynamic entry will uh, you know one which is having timestamp these will be uh, scavenged the static entries will not be removed or scavenged okay so this is one important thing that you have to keep in mind uh, so if it's a static entry then you have to delete it manually only if it has a timestamp and dynamically added uh, then it will be removed by the scavenging dns scavenging. i hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching